Oh, hey guys, it's part two of the uh, primary flight display shake and bake with you here. We're just turning in towards Pearson Airport. I've selected the 33 right approach and we're kind of heading for Eggbeck right now. Let me just get that heading just right. There we go. We're going to fly towards the 33 right approach and then we're going to turn down that approach. I'm going to do the arming of the approach right now and on the display you can see on uh, the mode selection here, the mode indicator panel, localizer and glide path are definitely highlighted. Coming back out, I'm gonna go down to 3,000 feet and on the display, you can see that's now been changed to three. Coming back out again, vertical speed. I'm gonna dip down a little bit here. Looking out the window, I can see the popping lights of 33 right and 33 left at Pearson. We're just over Lake Ontario right now and we will be turning in shortly. I'm just going to wait a second here. Maybe a slight bit of an intercept heading, 300 degrees. The runway is 330. That'll help with the intercept. And we should slow it down. There we go. And I get some flaps going now. I could do flap 5 at 235. And we're below that. I could even go to flap 15. Why not do that right now? That warning you're hearing intentionally the flaps, just to give you a taste of what that sounds like. Back on the navigation, or correction, the primary flight display, the localizer and glide path are now locked in. We are on the approach to runway 33 right, and things are looking good. Through 3,000 feet, localizer diamond, and we're gonna pick it up again on the third part for the approach and landing. We'll see you guys next time.